what up? Solar Renekton only a back to it's a boy League of Legends action. Uh, what the hell is this bot lane though? He'd be in this bush and jump at me. It's Kindred Top apparently. He's like 70,000 mastery points on it. We're gonna be battling with Rumble. Rumble got buffed this patch. They increased his E. His uh, E magic pen. So now instead of having 20% when you hit two, both uh, the E charges on your opponent, you'll have 40% magic pen, which is pretty ridiculous. Very, very good. It just makes your all in insane if you're able to hit your E's, which probably shouldn't be all ending somebody if you miss your E's because then you're not getting the slow, you're not getting the pen, and then unlikely that you're gonna land very many ticks of your ultimate if you're not slowing them with your E beforehand. But in mid lane, Rumble's like 52% win rate, so uh, still below 50 in top. So he's just really good in mid. Ends up playing, just has really good matchups into a lot of the AP champions because you just walk at him with this Q and they, they kind of struggle to deal with it. Nice little E behind, huh? Sneak that one in. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get a level three off of that. Ignite. Close. Nice. All right, we have a flash there, but we're not overheated. And we have no spells available, so. Not the easiest way to finish that. I should have stopped his back, though. This is what the overheat looks like. Whoa, you teleported a little bit early there, pal. Huh? Stay outside the tower. I'm okay here. Walk away. Q. You get a stun, he does. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that was a pretty big mistake by my lane opponent. Pretty big mistake to be capitalized on. And then he's trying to fight inside of a giant minion wave. I don't know, man. I played Rumble a lot. I know you turn a lot of fights where people don't think you do. And that was definitely one of them. All right. Reset here. Wave shoved in. Feeling good. Oh, you're in some trouble. You're in some trouble, pal. Nice. He gets out. You're not in some trouble. All right. Sweet. So I just want to spam W back to lane. Quick little TLDR on the champion. You have heat. That's the second bar. That's your resource. It costs heat to use a spell. So think of it like heating up. And then once you hit 100, you've overheated and you can't cast any spells for six seconds. So Q costs 20, W costs 20, E costs 10, and you have two charges of your E. Again, E is that single target. When you hit it, you slow them, you do damage, you shred their armor, or sorry, you shred their magic resist. W is a shield and movement speed buff. Q is a flame in front of you. Hit that E run away. And then, like I said, if you hit 100 heat, you overheat like this and you can't cast any spells until it's over, which is six seconds. But the other thing is when you're above 50, so the heat is yellow, uh, your Q does bonus damage. Everything does bet more, basically. Your W shields you for more and gives you more movement speed. Your Q gives you more bonus damage. Your E does uh, more damage, more slow, and a better... Okay. I had to wait for my Q. It was like three seconds. I know it looked really dumb, but <laughs> I had to keep the guy around. I know I have flash and he doesn't, so I win that. I have R now, which means I should... Oh, it's already set up. Cool. I think I can win this, by the way. Very close. If I waited like a half a second more and I had W immediately for that, I could have done it. Because I don't think I consumed the whole uh, shield from W. But, yep. This champion does a ridiculous amount of damage. Everybody forgets, and that's why he starts clapping people in mid lane. Like, your three spells into an overheat is insane, because a while ago they buffed up your overheat, so instead of just silencing yourself and you just do, you know, damage that hits a little bit harder, now with, you get a bunch of extra attack speed, so right now it's 38% attack speed, and then you get bonus damage based on your based on your target's max percent HP. So max percent HP damage is super good, and it has an AP ratio as well, so it hits like a truck. Moral of the story, you hit hard.
Then people aren't really ready for the pen here. 18 pen immediately. Like this guy has no magic resist against me. Especially if you're able to uh, keep yourself in that 50. That's like the whole trick of rumble. You let the heat fall, because if you don't cast anything, it'll fall, right? So it starts falling, and then I don't let it fall too far, because I want to keep it in that area. If, you, if you're if you at exactly 50, right? I can press Q, I can press W, I can press E. All of them are going to be on cooldown anyways, and then I overheat. So, you know, you're overheated and you're just getting max damage out, because who cares if you overheat when you have nothing available? I mean, we could ignite all in right there, but I did not mean to do that. I should have canceled the hit. That was just really bad. I got the level up, so I can't just kill him with ignite. <laughs> My favorite is when he jumps forward for these like hits that do no damage. Gotta watch that Scorch. Mm. Yeah, I didn't judge that right either. I mean, I would've killed him if I used my ult correctly earlier. I like to put it off of Smart Cast, so it just, uh, I click a point and then I drag it. That's how I like to use that one. Very similar to Victor E as well. I don't think you die there, but you die here. This guy's super greedy. He just gotta leave. It sucks to miss farm, but you're gonna miss the farm and die. So it's a top laner mentality. Every once in a while, I'll still do something like that, but I used to do it a lot. Could just ult this wave too. Oh, he lane swapped. <laughs> I've been giving up. I mean, this guy is legit not gonna have a better time, I'll be honest with you. Ooh. Speaking of having a good time, oh my god. Warden, you have it. That's huge. Nice. Go like this. Ooh, he got a kill! Reset his gold though, huh? Nah, you just bail on that. I can move toward here. I don't have my ult up though. Not the best. Oh, you gotta be careful about where you run. You can hop all those walls. Okay, should be fine. I don't think I go mid here. I think I still go top. Hello. Alright, sweet. Uh, forward ward. Oh wow, he's gonna fight you, huh? Probably not the best idea. Polybear bear's pretty tanky. Yo, the TBG, what up, buddy? Welcome back, dude. 53 months. What the hell? Guy's popping off. Oh my god, I missed the cannon minion. His farm's not terrible either. Wow, you killed him. Nice. Serrated Dirk versus this is not a good trade. Chain Vest is super efficient to that buy. Ten thirty. Hmm. I can rotate. I'm trying to figure out what I should do. I don't necessarily need to take it this right now. I could yoink another wave reset. Yeah. Like yoink another wave of the proxy. Just auto the ones that I'm. Huh? Back up. We are worried about jungle being here. Can like we're leaving and come back in with Q. That looked painful. I'm betting he already uses ult. <sighs> that was a little close. I almost made a mistake by not walking back into the tower. The tower shot is flying at you. I mean, we just kind of yellow this, huh? 
As long as I don't give it to this guy too. Only one gets it. I was gonna try and hug this wall, run into the tower. Maybe he walks past me, but he sweeps. It's smart. There's no way I can finish the back there. Accept death. Move on. Yeah, with the W, when you, uh... The tower shot has to travel, and your shield is temporary. So if the tower, if your shield lasts one second and the tower shot is traveling for two seconds and you press it immediately, you're not going to have it when you get hit, right? So if I already had used it because I was worried about dying to Talon, but I still have the tower shot flying in, I have to walk towards where the shot is coming from. It's very similar to like summon Airy, that keystone. No one has it anymore. This guy, it, it when it comes back to you, like it returns after you use it. If you run up and you know pick it up, you get it back faster. If you run toward the tower that's hitting you, you'll get hit faster. It's not really that useful of a play, but every once in a while it matters. Mostly on shield champions because their shield's temporary. Oh my god, bro, careful. I am so huge right now. Okay. Our team is strong. Army wants to like rotate on this mid and not let him get away with it. But I gotta remember what the plan is and not get distracted. The plan is to take the tower before 14 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Let the heat fall a little bit, press Q. There you go. Tower's dead, but no reason to eat free damage. You make him get zoned off the cannon maybe, huh? Uh, oh no, we did! Nice! Huh. How does he get away from the wall? He can dash, but to who? He can dash over a wall. He's next to one, can't do that. He can Q. To me. What if I just walk over here? How does he get out of that ult? Then he gets revealed because of the ult doing damage tick, and I turn the Q on and run at him. Outplayed, my man. Oh my god. Whew. Dubbin. Bailing. Can look to steal stuff, look to help crab. Steal stuff it is. Kite toward my teammate. You can take, I don't have uh, any mana. Definitely take this one too. Wait, I can't help you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the farm. Catch the wave. Look to reset. Man, I really like the extra attack speed on that. It's pretty cool. Uh, I can rotate mid and drop an ult before I leave. Ooh, give me the speed. Give me the speed. My fault. I mean, I was worried about him jumping forward. I wanted to save Fizz. It was not necessary, though. Mistakes were made. Kaboom. <laughs> oh my god. If you hit tower, you win. There you go. Yeah. I don't know why he keeps jumping forward for that play. It's very strange. Alright, I want to leave though. I have a bajillion gold. Yeah, it's very strange. He keeps jumping forward to Q me and then you have no jump and I can't miss a Q because you're standing in front of me. If you're going to try something like that, you have to jump from the side. Like you have to, you can't jump at me in a line because look at this is aimed in a line too. You're literally just jumping inside of that pathway. I can't miss. I mean, I could if I just click wrong, but you know, I really shouldn't miss that type of one. If you're gonna try and do something like that, you wanna stay max range. So like, I don't know, her range is, or uh, Kendra's range is like here. So you wanna jump from like here to here, you know, to like the side. And then you're still max distance away. So I have to like, you know, the E has to travel farther to hit you. It gives you more time to react and move and dodge it. It's a much better way of doing it. Dragon in 40. I wanna shove next wave and then move the dragon. Hopefully everybody didn't die before it, but not that big of a deal either way. I am absolutely massive. All right. 
moving. I can walk in the mid, clear that, and then go. There's no wave over here. Realistically, Kindred hasn't done too bad considering how hard I was stomping the guy. Like, the rotation wasn't that bad. They kind of stopped. I don't know about stop the bleed, but. I feel like I probably could have kept snowballing really hard through Kindred. She's 2 5 now instead of whatever. Move here. We dig, we dig. Teemo backing. Aw. Oh, Teemo dead. I was gonna say, you should probably just let him do that, but whatever. <laughs> it's all good. You can get Dragon here. Second one. Beauty. I might path. I mean. Just gonna jump the wall. Ooh. My E is now maxed. I am actually huge. Woo! Oh. Killed him with an auto attack, bro. Love it. The other guy's dead, too. <laughs> bro, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna make them all quit. I won't have a YouTube video. <laughs> oh my god. This ultimate is wild, though. Oh, whoops. Shouldn't have pressed Q. I overheated. I can reset here. We go death cap or just grab void here. It's not really. Hmm. Huh? Damn, yeah, non overheated Q is kind of poop. <gasps> and I overheated. Oh no. Oh, I didn't dodge that. Board? Dodge? Q? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. This is definitely not going to make it to YouTube. They're going to rage quit. And... There's no way they don't surrender immediately after that. <laughs> what a dodge, bro. Oh my god. Nah. I'll just do this. I gotta leave. Alright. Here, sell, buy, good. Now, Timo's doing alright. Oh, that's a bit deep. I can W back this way. If they tried to fight, then I have R. Okay. Oh. Base doesn't have ult, though. I walk this way. <laughs> oh, I did it into the minion, bro. Whoops. I was gonna. I was already laughing because I just knew that Eve was gonna land and do a ton of damage. I'm trolling. I'm still inside a minion. Hmm. Can't dodge in there. He still has jump, but I threw an amazing Q. And he's dead. Or amazing ult. Dead before the heat falls. E here. Got it. Q. He jumped over this. Uh, e it. Tagged him. E again. Q. Go forward. Down here. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. Moving. Oh, we should bail. You don't want to be there. There's nothing to take. I have an item. Back and grabbing it. Three items at 20 minutes. We're large! We are large. Solo, we're large only here. Because that's all I'm saying in this game. Let's go. Self aware. Moving. Ult does 1569 damage over 5 seconds, and then slows by 35%. Huge! You here? Honestly, don't know. I think he was in here and he teleported out. Right? I don't think he can just run this way. There's no way he's fast enough to have been in the third bush. I don't know where he went. Fourteen seconds and it's back up. That's crazy. Oh god. 
doomed. <laughs> I'm so large. Hold up. Right into it! He jumped right into it! Let's go! That angle is so clean! Oh my god, dude. These are some unusual Rumble Ultimates, alright? I don't think I'll, if I play like 10 games, I'll have too many that hit like this. Jeez. It's one of those games where the things are just going exactly how you think in the head. It's like, oh, he might jump right into this. Yep. <laughs> He has no, uh, oh, I screwed it up. If I just sat there and press S, I'd be in a second. Double E. Huge. Back at this, looking good. Looking real good. Hey, we have 1,234 viewers right now. One, two, three, four. Cool. All right, nobody leave and nobody join. I trust you guys. All right, sweet. Try and set up a Baron, maybe. Really want to get level up. Look at this little Teemo. Look at this little guy. I think someone just roast him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! My man almost died to 1E. E. Oh, I did that thing I used to always do. Oh, splash it. Man, why would I talk about how good my ults were? The second that happens, I'm gonna ult like my own base or something. <laughs> Get him! Aw. Oh. Obviously we have to end on me having the worst ultimate in eternity. All right, fair enough. The other ones were good enough to make it, to make it better. <laughs> Jesus, dude, your pen with uh, E, so good. Even against teams that don't have a lot of magic resist, it's just pretty damn good. It's a big buff, big buff. Just a void staff on your E now. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Uh, in a game that's a lot closer, get a get a Zanyas. Because the thing you can do with the Zanyas is you can turn your Q on. Right, so you're flame spitting in front of you, and then you can also press on you. So you're gonna have your Q flame in front of you as they like all dive to try and kill you, and then you just have to sit there for two and a half seconds while getting the flame on them. Like it's, it's really hard to deal with. So Zanya is a really good, you know, second or third item depending. Like if second if you're against like Pantheon or somebody aggressive like Olaf, something Darius, whatever. Super good there. I mean, you can even rush it. It's just not as not as good as going here here. But yeah, anyways, GG, well played. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on live stream, follow the live stream. GG, well played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.